What's up guys? Back with a new video. I'm gonna talk about my life. Um since we've been we've been this couple of, almost four months or more, we don't even know how long we've been in quarantine. How much it affect it was affected me, you know what I mean? Um I was still working anyway, so making that bread, making that money. But I made a mistake um, having a friend over that I know that we work together and all that stuff. And, um, and I asked her to do my hair, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to look pretty for myself, not for nobody else, you know? So... I invite her over, she did my hair, I looked all pretty. Then I had some other other friend over that she's like a mom to me and all that and she needed a shape up, you know what I mean, do what she gotta do. And she came over, you know what I mean? She did her shape up because uh, my friend brought her cut her best friend over um to do her hair her haircut. You don't need to do a shape, a real line up, whatever. You know what I mean? So, everything was good. You know what I mean? She did half of my hair. Then um, she went outside to smoke a cigarette, whatever she had to do. And her cousin or her best friend, her best friend, whoever it is, um, he asked me out. So... I know some people be upset when somebody asks you out and then we start saying that, oh, I don't date black guys. You know what I mean? I have not, you know what I mean? And that time I was not thinking though because I was more focusing on my girls. You know what I mean? Because in reality, it's hard to date in this world. You know what I mean? With the stuff that's going on in this world, guys doing bad things to your kids and men putting... Um, the men putting the woman's hands each other, a hands each other, and a man, a man should not hit a woman, you know what I mean, just put it that way, so it's just like, it's just stuff like that, that I had to know, red flags and everything else, so, you know what I mean, so I told him, I didn't like black guys, you know what I mean, he was telling me his life story, that he went to jail, so that's why I realized the red flag though, because I don't, I don't judge nobody for they going through life though, but it's hard for me enough to bring somebody in my life and I have two daughters. You know what I mean? I have to know about safety wise, you know? So he asked me out. Um, we didn't change number, Facebook or whatever. I was not really I was not really interested at first. But then I wanted to try it out for a little. I wanted to see how it goes. We had stuff in common and stuff, but it just, I felt like he was too much cocky. You know, like just wanted me, he probably wanted me to be, he probably wanted to be in bed because he was already talking about, oh, I didn't have sex since almost four years since I've been in. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. I didn't care. You know what I mean? Because everybody needs to get some. You know what I mean? Even if you've been in the in the clock or whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? So we tried out. We've been talking, texting, da da. So I felt something a little bad because I should have never turned out like black guy. You know what I mean? I want you. Know, I should try it out. You know what I mean? So I was like, I'm sorry, bro. Apologize. How? put you in a position and uh you know what I mean I shouldn't have said that it just I have my own a preference you know what I mean it just my mind my physical and mentally I'm not really focused on that because I know I should have a life a normal life you know what I mean but since I have my kids in the system still so it's just like I'm still working on me and trying to get my girls come home you know, it's hard sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, try to play a, a smile like nothing happened in life. So, everything was good, everything was well. 
I invited him over. I ordered some pizza. Um, I bought some beers. You know what I mean? We had movie night. We talk. We sit together. You know what I mean? It was. It was. Don't get me wrong. It was. It was very. It was real good night that I had. Not up front. It was a, a wonderful night. It was amazing. You know what I mean? And after that, we kiss. We make out. Stuff happens. Not gonna tell all the details. <laughs> But after that, all that happened, we sit in the bed, we lay down in the bed together. But I caught anxiety, you know what I mean? Because I went through so much in life that I went through as a, I've been in an abused relationship and mentally, physical, like, you know, people talk about that I'm not this, I'm not worth it, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it was a lot, you know what I mean? It was hard for me to go back to that position that, you know what I mean? So I caught an, a lot of anxiety. I got up in the middle of the night, start cleaning and all that stuff. So I guess my heart was telling me I was not ready yet for relationship-wise. But the thing is that I had a problem with that, you know what I mean? I called my, my boss. You know what I mean? My boss is like a best friend to me. You know what I mean? I taught everything how I feel days and out. She understands me. You know what I mean? Everybody just want me to have you know, the best life that I can because I know I went through a lot. But sometimes it's no excuses of my actions either. And I'm not perfect because, you know what I mean, nobody's perfect. So, but I told my boss, I'm like, yeah, boss, I had an amazing night with him and all that stuff. Um, he only lasted three minutes. But I already knew that, but I think I should have never said that, but I didn't tell her all the details that happened. I just told her I had an amazing night and this and that, and then I just told her three minutes. Then five minutes later that I'm finding out that he told his best friend that me and him did something, and she got upset about it. And she's like, oh, what the fuck? Da -da -da. Why are you doing this with her? You don't know her. da 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 da, -da. You know what I mean? She's not good enough for you. So when all that stuff happened, I started crashing. You know what I mean? Because I know we were supposed to be in quarantine, but it's just like when somebody told me that I was not good enough for that person, I just, I was like, I was overwhelmed and crushed because I'm like, damn, we had a good thing. I wanted to try it out. Nobody had to know, you know what I mean? Because he's trying to do what he got to do with his life. He's trying to do more dice, like do clothing and stuff. And he's trying to get his shit together. Everybody got to do that. Everybody got flaws. You know? But he, I just felt like the girl should have never got mad. You know what I mean? Like, if you was mad at me, me going out with him, you should have said something. You know what I mean? Like, a female, if you feel uncomfortable, me, then your best friend, I just felt like a female should just tell you. Be blunt with you. You be like, yo, I don't want you to date my... Just... Just be blunt. So it's just like, I felt a type of way. You know what I mean? I just felt like they had a thing together or probably mess around or doing whatever. You know what I mean? She could have told me if she liked him or not. I didn't care. Like, you know what I mean? Like... If I'm in a relationship, I'm not the type to take anybody's friendship away from nobody. You know what I mean? Like, it's still going to maintain. I'm never going to take that away. But if you got to be honest with me, just be honest with me. You just, that's how I am. Yeah, all that passed away. So I drop it. I squash it. La, la, la. I started having counseling. I was having counseling and, um... My counselor asked me, oh, who do you hear? I said, one of my friends, she came over to my house, so she got upset. She got upset because we were supposed to be in quarantine, and I did it in my house, so she got upset about it. So I want your opinion on this because I just feel like, I, I feel like a counselor should not get upset. What Like, what I do, they're supposed to help you, the things that you do, mistakes you do, help you. Out, you know, like it was just like she just got mad, and I got mad. I know I should have never got mad. I should have just listened before I even get mad. 
but I just felt like I'm not going to let nobody tell me who I should bring to my house because I'm the one who pays my rent. My kids are not here right now. I'm a type of person that I'm not like that. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't even have friends. I'm a loner. I work and come home and sleep and clean and do what I got to do and play my video again. That's what I normally do. I had to cut basically everybody in my life that I had. You know? So she got upset about it. She brought it up in group. And I told my listen, this is what happened. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Okay. Everything went well. Boom. Other mistake I did. I went to, I, I called my best friend to help me get a table for my house. So I even forgot that I had sessions for constant. You know, you have that mind that you just want to have freedom. You know what I mean? You just want to be away from all the things around you because when you've been, when you have your kids in the system past three years, it's like your mentality and physical, it's just like your brain, it's just like you just want to give up. You know what I mean? Because it's too much, like it's too much in life, like it's too much pain that I have, it's too much things, like it's just like sometimes I just don't want to deal with it no more. You know what I mean? But it shouldn't. You know what I mean? I shouldn't not quit, but I'm not giving up though, but it's just like, you know what I mean? I feel like I should have never liked her. I should have told her who I was in the car with. But when, you know what I mean? I was trying to pay it off. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I was, I was just trying to, like, oh, you lying. I'm not in the car, da, 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 da. And then I try to switch it, like, oh, I'm with my mom. We're going food shopping. Shit like that. I should have known that. It's just sometimes I just want my privacy. You know what I mean? Being, and everybody knows in this world that when your kids in the foster system, you don't have no privacy. You don't have no life. Cause then you're in your life for 24 hours a day, literally 24 hours. They want to know all your business. If you take out a shit and this and that, they want to know everything. You know what I mean? I should have never lied to her that I was with somebody. I was, you know what I mean? But me and Ben doing all that, I said all that, I got discharged. So the last time I had a hearing on uh, June for my kids, so, if I don't go back to FTS for 30 days or whatever, possibly I'll buy next, every three, um, the next hearing is every three months. So, by September or whatever, whatever it is, I'm going to have my terminated rights because I lied to my counselor. You know what I mean? I just felt like that I, I worked so hard to get this far to get my kids. I worked so hard that I just felt like I should not give up, but it just my body and my guts and my heart and my soul is telling me not to. But I have that gut feeling that I'm not gonna go back to FTS because I'm just gonna feel like, okay, I gotta start over again. But it just I just feel like I've been doing it for so much that people don't understand that it's hard to to express myself in a, in a, a different way for people don't get offended. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people in this world that they're very cruel. They're very cruel. I get, I get discriminated. I get discriminated. I get, I get everything above. And I should not worry what people think about me. I shouldn't. But I know I'm a good mom, though. But I was in a position that, that I shouldn't have lied to her in the first place. You know what I mean? But I just feel like when I try to apologize to her, she just terminated me. And in this couple of days, I've been, since I've been terminated, I've been, I've been, I've been depressed. My anxiety been up. Like I've been, I bet he can't sleep on nighttime. I wake up in the middle of the night. It's just like, my life is very stressful. Like I can never have, I just feel like I'm never happy and I'm never satisfied. But without my kids, I'm not, I'm nobody. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if they take my kids away from me, I'm going to go to a bad trauma. Like, they did the first time when they take my firstborn. Like, that's how I'm going to feel. But anyway, whoever is going to watch this video, please comment. Um, hopefully you like the video. Um... I love y'all. Thank you for all the comments and all the videos that I posted all the time. Most of the time. But I appreciate it, y'all. Whoever don't like my comment, just stay out of my comment. But I don't care what people think. This is all the world to be free to write whatever they feel like it.